hello everyone welcome to another video in this video i will discuss an important use case in power pages sometimes we need to interact with data for tables to perform crowd operation if you want to create a record from power pages by connecting to dataverse directly without using any component like entity list or entity form i don't want to use that components but i want to use custom html components and using that custom html buttons and all that components i want to call directly dataverse tables to perform crowd operation how i can do that the important use case is that microsoft has already introduced dataverse api for power pages there is a separate dedicated portal web api by using which you can directly perform crowd operation create retrieve update delete operations by connecting any dataverse table uh, that you create in your custom project through a web api call that means you can write javascript or jquery to call web api that is exposed by microsoft power pages specially designed for dataverse table interaction and you can perform crowd operation okay now today i will go step by step how you can achieve that first thing first in power pages you need to first uh, declare some site settings for web api specific important matters right in web web api specific uh, minimum things that is prerequisites so if you want to go to your power pages you will find there is a section called as site settings in the site settings you need to add these site settings let's say i want to read this information this three information okay not the this three information my entity is called as xc underscore xc property this is my entity okay let me tell you that how what is the use case this is the entity and in this entity i have the entity name called as xc underscore xc property this is my logical name of the entity that is available in my dataverse xc underscore xc property and the set name is called as xc underscore xc properties this is how you can get from here for web api calls if you go to uh, tools and if you use copy set name and you can paste here you will see this is the set name this is the set name of the entity set name is used for entities whenever you want to call web api to interact with this entity right that you can copy here copy set name copy logical name all these shortcuts you can get okay this is the set name and the point here is how to enable power pages web api for dataverse first thing is you have to go to portal or power pages management model driven app and create three site settings first site setting is called as web api slash your entity logical name slash enabled then this should be the name don't change anything in this name and in the website choose your portal or power pages website and give the value as true okay next next site setting is <coughs> let me filter this <coughs> next is this one this is first setting web api slash entity name slash enable true next is web api slash entity logical name slash fields and in the value star <coughs> the fields star means in the value means that you want to interact with any field of this entity through web api call if you want to restrict that your web api can only interact with limited set of columns you have to specify logical name of your columns by comma separated here this is second side setting third side setting you need is this one disable o data filters web api slash entity logical name slash disable o data filter this o data filter should be yes or no here true or false if you make true then you can query web api you can query table information uh, you can query data using o data filters like select filters all that if you mark it as true if you make mark it as false you cannot query data using o data filters next so this three is very important and 
and the common thing is web api slash enable should be true okay and uh, one more thing is required that is your web api entity permission enable true with this information side settings you can start interacting with your web api url next thing is once your site setting is done it is mandatory the site settings are mandatory and next thing is you have to set up web role table permission if you want to interact with your custom entity from power pages through web api call you have to first declare a web role and define table permission for that specific entity for example i have a web role i have created for my website that is called as xc guest user and this guest user is connected with a table permission called as xc table permission this one where i have given read permission so you have to configure this table permission for that web role and connect the web role to your table permission as i have connected here and this web role you should connect with the contact so that the contact being the portal user or power pages user when he logs in he can access records through web api calls now let us test this i have al already logged in here if you check my uh, portal website this is my portal and power pages the power pages old image portal here i have already logged in okay because i am authenticated and i have i have already given my credential and logged in and if i will go to the uh, page where i want to fetch data so how can i fetch data through web api your url should be there and after the url you should pass underscore api then slash the set name you can test in the browser also no need to use custom page your main url then sla slash underscore api slash entity set name so let me copy the entity set name copy schema sorry copy set name and go to here and paste this when you hit enter it will display all the properties all the records that are a part of your property entity you can add filters also if you inside bracket you need to pass a specific property it will get one record let me copy one property record let's say i want to copy the uh, primary key for a record property id so let me copy this one so when you pass a specific id in this url web api url then it will get only one record you see how it is getting one record this is only getting one record here okay if you don't pass this id it will get all records that means this is the link which is creating a web api endpoint that i can call through my javascript okay so you can write a javascript to get data right like that you can also perform crowd operation i have already created a page here okay where i am interacting with my web api same web api link and here i am reading data and updating data then editing data and deleting data and see here this is the contact entity i am loading okay through the web api i am loading its contact entity records and here also i can edit i have implemented some script here and if i'll click i can change anything any uh, change let's say i want to change first name i can click this and i can write down let's say on mole first name and okay once you click ok the data will be submitted through that to database through my web api call and it is updated like that you can update last name also this is implemented through javascript 
and it is calling web api and updating directly database let's say this one and okay okay and you can delete also if you click on delete the record will be deleted successfully from dataverse so how this crowd operation is performing from my power pages it is through web api call and you would know how web api call works so if you go to here in the code you can check how the power pages web api is called this is a web api call javascript function taken jquery function is given and i am setting this code entirely you can get this code from microsoft also okay microsoft has already hosted this code and uh, you can achieve this okay i will share this code in my description of this video in youtube so that you can download okay so this is possible right from your web pages from your uh, power pages you can directly call your web api through javascript or jquery to perform any operation of your choice from crowd operation using web api to any entity of your choice that you uh, used in your project right so this is the motto of this video to let you know that how you can call power pages dedicated web api this is a dedicated web api dataverse has its own uh, web api but this is a dedicated web api created specially for power pages which is navigated through your portal url or power pages url slash api then your entity set name hope everyone understand this thank you guys see you next time bye everyone